Remote Debugging. It's the golden goose of serverless development and the AWS Lambda team has brought it right to your IDE. Let me show you how it works. Okay. As you can see, I'm working in Kira, which is brand new this week. Super excited about that. But this would also work in VS Code. Really, it comes down to the AWS Toolkit if you have installed a VS Code or Kira or any of the other VS Code forks. All right, so let's take a look. We open up the AWS Toolkit and you can see it lists under my Explorer. I've got all my regions here that have resources in it, including a Lambda function in US East Ohio called Weather. And this was used in another one we built when we were showing how we go from console to IDE, which I'll link to that video below. All right, so I can see the play button here. That's invoke remotely. I hit that, and if I actually remote invoke this, it's gonna go ahead and just invoke it, just normal inline, and we get a response, a status code 200 body, we get a temperature, and it's 26.7 degrees Celsius. So let's take a look and see what that actually is. And that's kind of cool. I can expand this and hit index, and it'll show it to us. And you can see we're just calling the weather API and passing it American Denver, it's hard coded in here. And that's what I've been asked to change, change it from America Denver to actually pull something from the event. But I can never remember what the event looks like. So let's invoke it and see. So I'm going to go back. Let's first of all go here. But we're going to tell we want to do some remote debugging. And it pulls up the file here that's actually still remote. So when we do that. We don't have a local version of this. So I'm going to tell it, download the remote code into my blank project. And this will let us kind of make changes and work on it as we need right from here. And now you can see everything in there. So let's go ahead and hide this for the moment. Pull this over so we can see it. Of course, I've got this big so, so y'all can see it, which makes everything scrunched up. So we've invoked it once. We saw how it happened. So let's go ahead and throw a breakpoint in here. So I'm just going to throw it here on the try so I can see what the event looks like. I've checked remote debugging. I've downloaded the file. And I'm going to pass it a new event. So I'm going to say remote saved events because I actually created an event in the cloud called Simple City. So I'm going to click that and you can see here that now we're going to pass a location called America Phoenix and let's go ahead and invoke that. Now, when I had invoke, what it's doing is it's actually attaching a layer that handles the, the interaction with the Lambda function as well as some IOT stuff. And then it invokes the Lambda function, as you can see here. And it gives us our variables and our watch and our call stack and the things you're used to seeing there. And I can go in here into the local handler. If I look under event, I can see what the event looks like. Spread that out a little bit. And it's America Phoenix. So that's what I want. Uh, we could do it. So let's go ahead and skip this. All right. So we've done that. Now I can invoke it again. Let's go ahead and remote invoke that again. And boom, there we are. Because it's still attached. So it's very quick. We don't have to load all that up. We can see that. We can add some other things. Like I can go ahead and add a breakpoint here. We hit play. And now we see the weather data coming in here under the response and here's your data and so on, but it's still doing the America Denver. So we're going to go ahead and change that. So let's complete out our invocation and then we're going to unhook it from the debugger. All right. So the debug session has stopped. So now I'm going to go in here and let's pull this back over and we're going to change this to say event dot location. Watch my spelling call out if you see something wrong. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and the Lambda toolkit says, Hey, I've noticed that you've made a code change. Would you like me to deploy that for you? And yes, we'll go ahead and deploy that. So it actually uploads the archive to the Lambda service. And then we'll be able to invoke this again. All right. So you can see here we've uploaded the Lambda function. So let's go ahead and invoke again. And so we, we've got our breakpoints that are still there. So we can remote invoke. And it's going to reattach everything we need to make this happen, including the Lambda function layer, and as well as the IOT. Let's look at our response. And you can, I'm going to spread this out here. And we got a different latitude and longitude. Look, let's look at the weather. Okay. So it's actually showing that the current is 26.7, not terribly different. It's actually very, fairly close, but we have a different long and latitude. So it's, it's actually hitting Phoenix instead. All right. So that we can go ahead and play that out. We can unhook the debugger and that's it. And there it is. That's how you remotely debug an AWS Lambda function using the AWS toolkit inside of Kiro or VS Code. We hope you enjoy the feature. Let us know what you think. Keep watching.